And then this door was in the barn again, um, and it's an antique door, and it's a divided light door, which means that there's wood between little tiny thin strips of wood that go between here. These are the muttons. And then you take this stuff called glazing, and you have to put it, you warm it up in your hands, um, like Play-Doh kind of deal. And I made it into a rope, and then you put it, lay it in here, and you take a putty knife and smooth it and press it in there. And then you have to let it cure. That's why this hasn't been painted yet, because you have to let it cure and dry out before you can paint over top of it. Um, that's what holds your glass in place, and it's watertight that way. So it protects the glass and the wood there from the from the water and from the rain and the weather getting to it. So, so that's what, this is glazing. It's not easy to do. I'm so amazed by people that can do that because I think I tried this like seven times before what? I was happy with it to get it really nice and smooth. It's hard, it's hard to smooth. smooth. Yeah, it uh -huh. just kind of wants to, you can see where it's feathered out a little bit mm -hmm. and it's not super smooth and I think I'm, I don't know if you can sand it or not, I'm going to find out because the smoother it is, the harder it is for water to get in there.